1039. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Wolfgang W. Halberg, you can hear it in his voice how freaked out he is. National school safety expert, formerly state police, U.S. Customs. He goes and investigates it. There's a cover-up at every front, and it never happens with the other shootings. I got to say, the Aurora thing was definitely a wind-up toy as well. That's all come out. And they're doing these black ops to get our guns. Sir, talk about your bottom line gut, dead reckoning. Obviously, I agree with you. They're, 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 something's going on. They're covering up. It's all staged. But what is staged? As best you can tell, what do you think really happened in your hypothesis at Sandy Hook? I think it was just, it was just a planned, massive uh, FEMA whole, uh, Homeland Security. I think it was a major drill uh, portrayed as a, one of the best delusions ever. And I think it was trying to create empathy across the country uh, for making us feel bad that so many children were killed. And look what happened in Connecticut. It worked. They're taking the guns away from people in Connecticut who, guess what? They're just law-abiding citizens, and they're using Sandy Hook as a nexus. It, it's a beginning, and if they're doing it in Connecticut, which is the next state? What's the next state? All because of Sandy Hook. That's right, and then there'll be another shooting, and oh, how dare you see it's your fault. It's so obvious they're using it to disarm us. They admit it, and it's just a total hoax. Any way you slice it, and... So sloppily done. What about bringing the kids back into the so-called death dens? Alex, at 945-31 on the police transmission, you can see a police officer, a lieutenant. He sees a little girl in the hallway at Sandy Oak Elementary School. He takes her and pushes her back into room 8. Well, if anybody reads the report, room 8 is the crime scene. There are dead bodies in there. 70 rounds have been fired in there. And this police officer shoves this little girl back into room 8 with dead bodies. Then you got two Connecticut State Troopers. They go into room 10, and they see a little boy hiding right. in the bathroom. And they tell him, well, just stay there. Uh, we'll be back when it's safe. Well, room 10 is where the other bodies are. How did they get the state police to play along with this? Uh, tell them it's part of national security? Well, I think it is, and I think there's a lot of money involved. You got Eric Holder showing up with a check for $3.8 million for overtime. I mean... That's unheard of. When I was a state trooper, when I had overtime, I got calm time. These people are being paid. I mean, we're going to find out. And the only way, Alex, the only way is we need your help. We got to be able to go to Newtown. We got to get people to raise the right hand. And I'm going to tell you what, somebody will break, and we're going to break the story. And ask people to go to www.sandyhookjustice.com. Listen, if it's a dollar fifty, I don't care. But I'm not taking a penny. I want to break this thing. I no, listen, listen. We are, uh, sir, I agree with you. Absolutely. We want to send, maybe even I'll go, we want to send reporters up there, Wolf King, with you. And I understand how dangerous this is. So maybe my reporters don't want to go. They probably will want to go. But maybe it's a mission I should go on. Uh, there's just so much to run here. But this is historical. And I, I, I'm 67 years old. I had a great life. But this country's been good to me. But I want you to be with me on the first day when we get somebody, and guess who was? It's going to be that incident commander. He's going to raise that right hand in the civil lawsuit. Alex, I want you in that room with me. I want you to look at his face by the time we get through with him. And they can't hide behind the fifth. You know that. Sure. Well, you also know that you know, normally in a mass shooting, everybody doesn't die. And then you don't have a bunch of wounded to parade around. But this time, very little, quote, wounded. 99% kill rate? There isn't an FBI agent that is that good. Yeah, because a lot of times you shoot somebody in the head, it'll still deviate. Or the or the heart, it'll deviate. I mean, it's, it's, it's like hunting. You can shoot a deer right in the head sometimes. It doesn't kill them right away. Uh, this is a child with autism, and if there's one thing we know about children with autism, they have very poor motor coordination and skills. I and they tend know. to get distracted off at each event. Yep.
No, they just picked a mentally ill person to patsy out. All right, Wolfgang, we're going to have you back on. Give out that website one more time. www.sandyhookjustice.com. Help us, and Alex, you'll be with us, please. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. If you like to gamble, I'll tell you how you win. You win some, lose some, and do the same. It came out two years ago. It was a big hit, waking people up, but I hadn't seen it until recently. In fact, I want to carry it at InfoWarsStore.com. C.L. Bryant, uh, who's the main uh, expert, and I used to call star of Runaway Slave, it's going to be joining us for most of the hour. I've got some breaking news I'm going to be hitting as well. Again, I'm your host, Alex Jones. First off, though, remember this hour is brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com or slash Alex to find their specials. The best storable foods company out there. Great customer service, non-GMO, organic, great people. You can give them a call, 866. Again, the phone number is up on the side, 866-229-0927. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Also, we've done two hours, eight minutes of broadcast. I haven't really plugged anything. We're listeners supported. We're not funded by George Soros. We're not funded by stimulus money like MSNBC or NPR with taxpayer money. Uh, we are funded by viewers out there that like Molon Labe Pro Second Amendment t-shirts or folks that like my favorite coffee that I've found down in southern Mexico and we get right from the folks down there grown in the high mountains and organic uh, volcanic soil, the Lake of America blend coffee. Uh, the Great Survival Shield, the nascent iodine, uh, the 
uh, fluoride shield, the super male vitality, all the best supplements that we've developed with Dr. Group, the Pro Pure Gravity Fed Filters, 10% off promo code WATER, InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com. And all the great pro Second Amendment, pro liberty, not even right wing or left wing, just pro freedom, patriot apparel to help spread the message of liberty while you support the broadcast. So we can have all these other great researchers and filmmakers on to try to promote what they're doing as freedom lovers who are unified by the content of our deeds and our hearts and minds, like Martin Luther King said, what we stand for, freedom and justice and opportunity and free market, the real renaissance, the Constitution Bill of Rights were never properly realized, but they were the most revolutionary idea in history up to that point. When they say, oh, it's 230 years old, 240 years old, yeah, but what we're going back to is old-fashioned tyranny, the state ruling everything. So what we have is cutting edge, and we are just beginning to try to realize it. And it made us the most wealthy country in, in, in world history. And C.L. Bryant is the son of a World War II veteran, roots run deep in the Cane River area of Louisiana. Uh, he studied Western civilization, mortgage finance, and master's degree in theology. He's a Baptist minister, and for uh, 35 years has traveled extensively in South America on missionary journeys. He's a former president of the NAACP. P in Garland, it's a major city of Dallas, uh, the Texas chapter and self-professed uh, democratic radical turned conservative now believes the values that he once vehemently upheld has led the black community into a state of bondage to the U.S. government. Well, there's no believe it. That's a fact. Not even really the U.S. government. It's the social engineer eugenicist, Margaret Sanger types. And uh, he, of course, is the main star uh, of uh, the great film Runaway Slave. And he's also involved with a column in SB Magazine and uh, a lot more, and he joins us. I really appreciate you coming on because, I, I mean, uh, I, I, I've, I've known the stuff that's in your film for basically ever because I've studied history, but when it really hits you, it, it's outrageous that the Democratic Party says if you don't want Obamacare, you're a racist, or if you don't turn your guns in, you're a racist, or uh, the talking point, the NRA is the Klan when the NRA was founded to arm freed black slaves on record. I mean, it's so frustrating that it was Lincoln's party that supposedly ended slavery. It was really the Christian abolitionists. And I'm not even glorifying, you know, the South or the North. The point is they have inverted history and then domesticated uh, everybody, including white folks. Everybody's going on the plantation. The model they pioneered with blacks has now been deployed against everyone to devastating effect. And you break it down in your film. But, but just from your perspective, formerly heading up the NAACP in a major city, what is it like as you discovered all this? Because when I talk about it, MSNBC, the White House run groups go completely wild and say none of it's true because they're scared of it. What do you say, sir? And thanks, first of all, Alan, uh, for having me on, Alex. Uh, and I thank you, uh, all of you, for listening. Um, what happened with me as far as the switch, the change, the crossover was concerned. I came to the realization that not only did the organization, the NAACP, want to control the agenda, they wanted to control me and then use me to control a block of people. This is the modus operandi of uh, an organization like them. And when I decided that I wanted to act as an individual on my core values, who I was, then I noticed that my star that was rising in the organization began to abruptly set. And that's when uh, an awakening uh, began to take place. And uh, my journey now and my uh, duty now for the last 19 years after that awakening is to make certain that others uh, are awakened as well. That's what it's all about. It's the awakening. I really woke up 19 years ago as well that I needed to get involved in the fight for liberty because I could see the tyranny growing. Break down the basics because we have a lot of affiliates out there, folks that may have never heard about the Democrats, how they operate, what they've done, how the NAACP operates. I mean, what's the core message of what's happening? The progressive liberals, the Democrats in particular, are uh, masters at co-opting uh, various groups. The black church in particular uh, has been co-opted very effectively by progressive liberals over the course of the last 50, 60 years since the great society of Lyndon Johnson. And unfortunately, black folks 
are not aware of the method in which they are used and enslaved, shackled. And the black preacher, not all of them, but many black preachers 